Hello everyone. Hope your Wednesday is uh, going well. Uh, we're, it's another hump day, middle of another week, and headed towards another weekend. Uh, kind of a big weekend uh, for us. We have uh, our annual conference is on Friday and Saturday, and uh, kind of a big, big weekend. So we're just getting ready for that. Plus, we're trying to pack and get ready to move and all that. But I want to jump back into our Jesus Now study. Uh, we have another day left of this, and then. And, uh, uh, this is this has been really good. I, I think there's some good stuff here. Just just recognizing that God is at work. We want to join Him where He's working, and we want to, uh, you know, he, He's always up to something big. And, and the key is, will we join Him in that? Will we help do our part in that? Will we open ourselves up to to reviving, to uh, sort of being renewed? And and are we hungry for that? Are we hungry for more of God? to grow in him, to become more and, and more like Jesus. Do, is that what we want or do we not? Uh, I, I hope you'll say with me that you want more of him. You want God to do something big in your life. I want him to do it in my life. And it uh, has nothing to do with sort of outside things. It's what we want him to do in our, in our hearts. Uh, well, let's jump into to this. We'll begin uh, today with the devotional. So as, a, as a Christian, continue to uh, fast and pray, asking yourself, what do I believe about spiritual uh, awakening in me and in my nation? You know, what do we really believe about what God might want to do, about who God is and how he works? It says, as you, as you explore this question, I suspect you'll find yourself in one of these three places uh, regarding revival. And, and here they are, three, three different places you might find yourself in today. It says you may be one who's already experienced a personal revival. Your life may have ebbed into, uh, until you, you could do nothing more than come to God out of desperation as your last and only hope. For you, revival is real because you've, you've rediscovered that God is real and alive. Uh, no wonder you're praying for awakening to come to your nation your church and your friends. You've been, you've been brought back to life. You've experienced God's revival in your life and in your heart. And, and so you, you want it for others. You want people to, to, to experience the same kind of awakening that you, you have had. So you may still feel like someone uh, on the outside looking in. The spiritual awakening has not been part of your spiritual journey with God. Uh, though you, you can't deny the, the power of God in, in the people and and groups you may see around you, uh, though you share the same Lord, though you pray and seek to follow his call, re revival is, is still out there. Uh, you've not experienced it in, in your life. Uh, you're, you're not sure whether spiritual awakening will ever be real in your life, though you're not uh, closing the door either. And, and I think that's somewhere, somehow, sometimes where we, we find ourselves is that you know, we know it happens, but will it happen in our midst? Will it happen in our lives? Will it happen in our church or our community or, or whatever? Uh, and, and, you know, we, we believe it could happen. We're not closing the door on it, though, but, but we're just not sure. Uh, that maybe it's not not for us. Here's another place you might find yourself. You find yourself still uh, one of the curious. For, for you, spiritual awakening is, is neither immediately real uh, nor is it something you choose to dis discount or ignore. You're open to whatever God might show you, praying for revival, talking to others, and searching the scriptures to see how God has awakened others are, are not out of the question. In fact, already you find yourself moving in that direction. You're, you're hungry. You want to learn more. Uh, we've, I think we've, we've learned a lot through this, this series, and I, I hope you, you have as well. I, I think I have, and I, I think there's, there's much we can learn about how God works, how God moves, and, and what we might be able to, you know, how we can learn to, to join God in what he's doing. So regardless of where you find yourself concerning spiritual awakening, you can prepare yourself for revival. As you do, you may discover you're part of a global phenomenon that, that could have its birthright here in this country, uh, or even in just in you, we could say simply. So the current uh, revival uh, uh, stirrings are... Uh, on our continent and, and in our nation do not rest with a single ministry. 
uh, gifted visionary or the most uh, dedicated layperson, the Jesus now awakening rests with God alone. Uh, it will come from God. It, it is God's to, to, to give. Uh, we put ourselves into position. We're ready. We expect. And, and then it's God that will have to do the moving. The God, it's God that will have to do the, the, the changing. Uh, this is a you know the awakening arrests with God uh, alone. This is like the the tide whose ebb and flow is beyond our control. The Lord who created oceans and and who changes lives will revive our nation in His own time. God's sovereignty is for certain, and and so is something else: the certainty of His word and the power of believing prayer. Uh, so there you go. There again, you stick in God's word. You stick. In growing in, in prayer closer with the Lord and we allow him to to work we trust him to work and we we our job is just to sort of be ready and willing and watching for what God might want to do John 14 14 says you may ask for anything in my name and I will do it uh, you know I think we need to get ourselves aligned with the Lord and if we if we are in in line with his his uh, will for us He'll do it. Uh, we, we can trust that he will, will do it. He'll, he'll bring the revival if we're, if we're open and willing and ready, like I said. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Uh, do you call upon the Lord and ask him to show you unsearchable things? How, ask him to show you, you know, the things that you don't understand and ways that you can grow and ways that you can even seek revival. Uh, you know, if you ask the Lord, he will answer. Call out to him and he will answer you, that verse says. Second Peter 3.18, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, are you growing in, in the grace and knowledge of Jesus? Are you growing to become more like him? Are you doing what you need to do uh, to grow in him and to become who he wants you who wants you to be who he wants you to be uh, it's it's really an amazing thing when god does this in us and he wants to do it in you do you believe that well let's uh, close with a word of prayer today lord help us to seek you to be curious about what you might want to do seeking your will and your way and, and being willing to do whatever it is that you call us to do Lord, lead, guide, and direct us in these things. Just, again, bring revival on, on us as individuals, on our church, on our community, uh, on our nation, uh, on our world. And, Lord, just begin with us. Begin with me. Uh, Lord, just, just work in each of us to bring the revival that we need. Uh, thank you, Lord. Lord, we do lift up those that are sick, those who are hurting today. Lord, strengthen them. Help them each and every day, Lord. We just pray that you would be, be very near. Uh, Lord, again, you are so faithful. You are so good. In Jesus' name we pray and ask all this. Amen. Amen. Well, hey, we'll uh, be back tomorrow with another devotional. We'll wrap up this, uh, this Jesus Now series that we've been doing for uh, several weeks now. But uh, you have a great rest of your day, and we will uh, see you later. Bye-bye.